What's going on ladies and gentle peoples? It is your boy Ducky here. I am back for another part of Super Pokemon Eevee Edition. This should be episode... 9 or 10? I don't... I'm actually not sure. The title will correct me if I'm wrong, so title down there. Everything. Check out the description if you want to play the game. Links in the description as per usual. So let, let's 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 just get it started. Let's just get it started. Last time we left off, we just we we killed people. <laughs> we killed Team Rocket. We didn't kill Team Rocket, but we beat him out of Magnus City. Now we have to go visit Elm. Elm is the next we have to do right now. I was gonna do it in the last episode, but I was really tired. I didn't. We also beat the gym. Got the plane badge from Whitney. The match was really easy apparently. Also went to the dojo. Got off with a Tyrogue. So we got a good fighting type. Probably not gonna use it, but we have it. It exists now. So now we're just looking for the lab. I don't know where the lab's at. And that area is blocked off for the time being. Hopefully for the time being and not for forever. I, I would want to go there. So where is this lab at? Here's the gym. Here's the mart. That was up here, I think, right? There it is. Adoption agency. Is there a daycare? Baby start a Pokemon every month. Okay. I got a Pichu. Oh shit. Okay. I guess I, I, guess I got the key. We're starting off strong with this episode here. We got a new Pokemon. Peaks. Alright, cool. Abra. Charmander. Grammar. Not too. And Onish. Okay. Alright, well, this is the baby Pokemon. Hey, buddy. Still lurking around here. If you see him, drive him out of town. Like, what? I've never seen you guys in this trouble. Nah, okay. So, apparently, there's some more rocket goons around here. I don't know where they would be at, but they're apparently around here. Okay. Arcade. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! All right, punches. Well, I guess I'll do this later. I'm not, I'm not trying to do it now. That music is really annoyingly loud and piercing in my ears. Okay. Okay, so go back down in the sewers again. And hit the little terminal things. So I guess I will get the show this part off. But I didn't get the show off in the last episode. Looking for three of them. But they're all active. Just making sure what's around me. Hmm. Not mented. Yup, not impl fucking mented. I hate this shit so much. Heck yeah, just jump across. Oh, Magnemite. Hello? I right, gonna resist that. Also gonna resist that. But you don't have, you don't have levitate, boys. Is he confused? He's confused. Cool. But he doesn't take confusion damage, it looks like. That's kind of stupid. So you said that there are three in here, but I got one. I'm assuming it was the one that was deactivated to turn them all on, right? Because two of them are already on. 
That's my guess of what he wanted. What I wanted. What he wanted me to do. That's my guess. Hopefully that's the case, because I'm not. I don't want to go back down in the sewers. It's funny because there's actually no way to get back. Like, in, if you're in that area, there's nowhere to leave that area. Unless you go through the sewers. Okay, what's going on, homie? Okay, thanks for your help. Thunder, I got another thunder wave. So you just get two thunder waves. Cool. I still gotta find out where Team Rocket's at. Apparently, Team Rocket's still hiding around. Maybe Rocket's in here now? Nope. Team Rocket's not in here. Hmm. Not implemented. Maybe they're in the Pokemon Center for once? Nope. <laughs> Para nada. No way. Nimir? Nope. Oh, there he is. How am I gonna get in there? That's how. That's how I'm gonna get in. Hey, buddy. Lady Titty. Let's probably go talk back again to the same officer, wherever he's at. Hey, buddy. Oh, there's more? And I haven't done the main thing yet, which is go to the fucking lab. My assumption that there's one under the... Oh, there's another one there, okay. Never mind. I was gonna say my assumption was that there's probably one under the sewers. <laughs> I think you guys trying to sell me drugs. Is that all of them now? Is that all of them now? Cause I wanna finish my story. Shit. Jesus, there's still more. Hmm. There he is. Oh no, I know you. Boy. He want an autograph. Okay, so he's out of here. That should be everyone now, right? That should be everyone now. No, to the fucking fourth dude. Come on. At least I know how to get in there. I'm not about to waste my any 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 time. Just repel up. I'm not about to waste any time. Hey buddy. Okay. So now we fight him. Hmm. Alright, I didn't expect that to do much. On. They're doing so much damage. So really good attacks now. Toxic gas. 1,581. I know I saw that right. I know I saw that right. I know I saw plus 1,581 dollars. That's Superman. I already fixed his power stuff. And then we got to go just talk to the officer over here. Done and done. Team Rockets have all blasted off. Thanks for helping me out. Confiscated this from a group of thugs. You can have it. A chain wrist. $500. Okay. So what did the chain wrist equipment do? 60 attack? I'll take that. I'll take that over special. Fucking 229 attack, bro? That, that's ridiculous. 
Professor Elm is known for his knowledge of one reading, but he's also an expert on hypervisors and knowledge of the upper coding. Oh, okay, we'll off too. Ah, Ducky, I was expecting you. Oh, hey, Duck. Cat. Now I'm sure you're following me. Oh, really? I'd say the same to you. I just came to see Professor Elm. What are you doing here? Silly, I work with Professor Elm. I catch a Pokemon for him. Oh, you two know each other? Cat, here is my... Send me pictures, bro. Cat, here is my best Pokemon catch. It's already caught over 200 different Pokemon for me. Impressive. Speaking of impressive, I hear the one who stopped Team Rocket's takeover. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, you heard right. Saving a whole city? No ordinary trainer could do that. They're not so tough. Oh, really? Yeah, I had a few runs with them in the past. Regardless, that's really cool that you drove them out. Found this item, but I already have one. You might find it useful. Everstones. It was nice catching up with you. Likewise. I got, I got a Dom fan fine. Catch you later. See ya. It's good to meet you again, Ducky. Professor Oak told me to fill you in on hypervisors. How much you know? Yes, actually, they've been a fascination of mine. I've been studying them for years now. Although, I guess there's one less to study now. I'm guessing Oak filled you in. Yeah, I still can't believe it. You killed the hypervisor all by yourself. Well, my Pokemon did most of the work. That's still incredible. You killed the hypervisor, one of the gods of this world. But how? Hypervisors can't be killed. Well, my Super Eevee can kill a hypervisor. I've seen it myself. M said it was made from an exotic data source or something. Fascinating. Could it be? So, is that M's plan? To have you kill all the other hypervisors? It appears so. So, do you want to know the history of the hypervisors? Like, I guess for story. Prior to the first generations, the hypervisors did not exist. The then six gifted Pokemon trainers were given ultimate power from that day the hypervisors were born, from the first generation began. Lionheart, Vanish, Geo Sigma, Xenon, Final Leader Zero, and M. The six. Each hypervisor was, was once a normal human being, but became augmented with godlike power. In exchange for their power, they were given a mission to defeat a powerful enemy. They succeeded, but Xenon died in the process. To make sure the world didn't become unstable, Zero used Xenon's code base to create a new hypervisor to replace him. I thought M came to be. Okay, so Xenon was one of the other ones. It was the original six, and M replaced it. With the world in order, the first generation began. That was 15 years ago. Well, that's the important details. Information about the hypervisors can be scarce since the first generation began, but their names appear constantly throughout the source decode of the world. Before I forget, take this. Team Switcher. Very used for items for Pokemon trainers. Do you need to know how to use it? Yeah, I would like to. Oh shit, what up? Team Switcher allows you to carry a second team, an A and a B team. Each team will have three different Pokemon while Eevee will be in both. Each team can have three different Pokemon while Eevee will be in both teams. This is to carry seven Pokemon. Both teams will gain experience in e in even a team that's not battling. What? Okay. Okay, you can't use it in battle. That's cool as fuck. Good point. Saving the world and all that. Thanks for the hypervisor info. Good luck. That's cool, dude. It's cool as fuck. That item is cool as fuck. It's cool. That's a really cool item. Alright, so what now? Oh, let me get killed. <laughs> Last one, let me get killed. Alright, so let's, I guess, go to Pokemon Center, pick out a second team, and have them just set. That's fine. Have them set, because that's, that's really, that's really, that's really helpful. Man Man full? Okay, I guess I'm doing Man Man stuff. Okay. 20 items. I also saw a large jaw. As one of them. Oh, there's the Everstone, by the way. Oh, there's boxing gloves as well. Toxic gas. Large jaw. Okay. I right, just boost attack even more. Let's see how it looks on Adam. It actually lowers his attack. Like, wait, it is currently anyway. It lowers his attack. Okay, so. So I'm assuming I have to just go into the storage tab here. Yeah. B team. Okay. 
Page of pages over here. There's Beanie. Currently using Beanie. Like, um, join the team. Yeah. Wait, what? Dewey, hello? I didn't even touch Dewey. I'm oh so confused. Can you switch? There we go. Okay, so Team B was was a consisting of Dewey. Okay, so. You're on the team. You're on the team. I don't know why Dewey's on the team. But Dewey, you're gonna stay back. Yeah. Join the team. Hmm. Do I want a fortress? Do I want a fortress? I would definitely, most definitely like a fortress. Nibby. I'll rename it though. Um. I'm bad at names. There. Okay. Have a safe trip. Oh, I didn't fucking put Nib in. What the hell? I didn't even... And you hit to the right, and you stay in place. Turn the team. Okay, so my A team is this one. Oh, I want this to be nine, so I can just press nine. Bring that up. Okay, so I'm on B team right now, which consists of these three: Ya, Nibba, and Gas Boy. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Helping hand as well. That's nice. Destruct. Just destruct. Does it kill me though? The uh, damage. Bug bite. Really good move it looks like. Rabbit spin. Hits everyone but it's weak, pretty weak. And then I know that Gas Boy only has that. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're gonna go and um, get another side of TM from the Mart and then be on our merry way. I don't currently have a whole lot of time to play right now anyways, because as of me recording this, I only have half an hour. Well, I have half an hour to get to work, but I wanted to do something to cheer up my spirit. I was in a, I was in a kind of a sad mood right now. Okay, so let's give Sayo already Gas Boy, so he has an attacking move, and Toxic Spikes to Nibba. So he also has another attacking move, it's Poison. I'm not sure if it's an attacking move or not, it has 70 power, so I'm assuming it is an attacking move. Okay, so I guess now we just go on up. I have to look at the map in a second to see exactly what I have to do. Whoopsies, I meant to go heal up. <sighs> Recharged. Oh shit! It's telling me where to go. Literally telling me where to go. Route 7 it is then. 
Holding shift while tech display makes it appear instantly. Oh, it's like that, okay. That's tip as fuck, dude. That's tip as fuck. Solar Force of Magnus City. Phoenix down. And a rare candy. I want to switch to my other team, though. I like using this team, and I think... How's that sound? It's like noise. I just hear noise everywhere. I don't. I do not know. I don't know. Anywhere. Um. I need to see the status of Beanie real quick. That's a lot of points away. I'd rather just give it the one wrecking they have right now. Hopefully have it evolve. There it is. Got me a go bat. Okay, so this was looking a lot better. Looking a lot better. He's also pretty fast. He's 160 speed, 146 attack. But he, all of his equipment is gone now. Is all is my entire team equipment gone? No, just his. Okay, sucks. I don't know what he had on. That one like, literally raises all the text by one point. It's not good. It raises my speed slightly. Hmm. I mean, I've been using the drill pieces a lot, so that's really good. I have them. Doesn't even touch my other stats. Just defense extra special that way. Whew. If I do that, and I okay, let's test out what this is gonna do for me. So it raises my defense below my attack. So I'm gonna stick with the jewel piece and this. I don't think it's guard yet. That's really good too. I have special moves. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I even do. That's 200 speed is really good as well. I'll go with that. And then. Poison resist. I mean, he's already poison type, so I don't think that's a good move. There, there we go. Berserk status. I still need to turn up Adam a lot more. He's only level 18. And I'm assuming I would need to get a Moonstone to evolve. Ro I need to go to Pokemon type for that. My music died? My music, my music just died. That was weird as fuck. My music just ended. Zatus are here now? Okay, I'd probably switch over to my... <clears throat> Chomp on him. Swift on him. Got a lot of things. Spark is a good move because it hits everyone. Nightshade. Thundershock. Oh, and he's dead. <laughs> cool. This is a pretty slow episode. Thunderfang? Magical Leaf?
I'm definitely using my repel. I want to explore and not encounter anything. Waterstone. I can get a polyrath that way because I have a polywag. I'm just going to take out a polyrath with the waterstone like you normally do. And then there's this thing, and I have no idea what this thing is. But uh, we're going to find out. Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm gonna get 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 I'm gonna Flame Claw does. Your barn just can't lose. Okay, it's just, it's just a big flash. Like flame. A fire type flash. Somebody touch on my spaghetti. I hate myself for making that stupid ass joke. Are we are we glitching up? Oh no. Okay, yeah, we're not doing this. I'm sorry. Up, up, no, hello. N Nani, N Nani. I just wanted to get the damn berry, bro. Yeah, we're not. We're not. Do we're not doing. And we're not doing this. And we're not doing this right now. I don't want to do this right now. Can, can I stay? Can I, can I not do this? I don't want to do this. I don't, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I have work in like 20 minutes. I need to go to work. So, sorry, but I'm going to end this episode right now. Really short episode. I do apologize. Next episode, we'll have a lot better. We'll have a lot more fun. We'll be able to actually finish this. I have no idea what the fuck M wants. But that's definitely M glistening around. I don't know where the goddamn berry. Music just cuts out. Completely dead music. Go a little higher. Music starts. I fucking. That's, that's monotonously bad. I hate it. I hate that. I can't even go down this ledge. I can't even get what I want. It's, it's it's ridiculous. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. G goodbye, guys. I'll see you on the next episode of the Super Pokemon Eevee Dish to play through. I'm, I'm gonna go get ready for work. And I'll come back later. And I'll do some more some more episodes for you guys. And it will be good. Trust me. Because we're gonna go see M next. And I don't know what M wants me to do. But with this with this with this piano music in the back, it's pro it's probably gonna be bad. It's probably gonna be something like you gotta kill another hypervisor, bitch. Or something, or she's gonna just give us more plot. I don't know. We're gonna find out together in the next episode. So until then, bye guys. <laughs>